Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our compensation plan training call. Um, hello, everyone. Again, um, I am Gavin. I will be your host for tonight. And we have exciting updates. So for this call, I was actually brought forward for some of our brand partners that didn't really have much of an understanding with regards to the updates um, to our new compensation plan. So basically, we have Annabelle on the call tonight. So Annabelle is our guest speaker, um, and she is a current brand partner with Young Living. So for questions that we will have, um, remember, this is more of an engaging session. So if you have any questions in between, if you feel that you do not understand, please raise your hand and we'll better address this because we want to make this easy for everybody to understand and easy for you to actually teach someone in the process of this as well. So for some of you that do, um, that has received communication with regards to the updates with our compensation plan, this has been in effect from the 1st of March, which means that it is currently um in use now with the South African market. Um, and this has been a change that has been implemented uh, globally as well. So there is other markets um, that has updates with regards to the compensation plan. <clears throat> but this is definitely what applies to um, the South African market. Okay, so for some of you that understand with regards to the previous um, fast start bonus that we had, um, I do understand that Although it says current fast start, this is what we're looking at being the previous fast start bonus. So previously on the fast start level one, um, this is your level one enroller, okay? So for some of you that understand this, um, with regards to your level one and your level two enroller, for example, if I enroll um, Jack, I become Jack's level one enroller. And then if I, obviously if uh, Jack enrolls, or if Joel enrolled me first, then Joel becomes my level one, but that will be Jack's level two enroller, okay? So I hope that makes a bit more of a clear understanding. So with the Fast Start level one, uh, previously we had this as 50% within the first month um, and then 25% in the second and third month for the level one enroller, okay? So with this being said, this also applied to the level two enroller who earned a 10% bonus in the second and third month, okay? So with this being said, in the first month when you enrolled a brand partner, you didn't have to have a minimum order in order to earn that 50% bonus. However, in the second and third month, you needed a 50 PB as a minimum order to earn that 25% bonus. Um, that still applies for the level two enroller, okay? So just to confirm that we do have that. Um, and also we did state here in the presentation that the brand partners enroller must be in good standing and acting within wild regulations in order to earn these bonuses, okay? So with this being said, we will move on to the next part and that is with the new fast start bonus, okay? So with the new fast start bonus that has been implemented from the 1st of March, um, now you're getting 25% in your first, second and third month being the level one enroller, okay? And then you're earning a 10% bonus in the first, second and third month being the level two enroller, okay? So that means um, your level one enroller, for example, um, with me that I enrolled Jack um, and Joel enrolled me, um, I'm getting the 25% bonus because I enrolled Jack um, and then Joel will be earning the level two bonus, which is the 10%, okay? So with this being said, there is qualification requirements for enrollers, okay? So you will need to have a 50 PV as a minimum order in order to qualify to earn this for the new fast start bonus. So this being said, 25% um, in your first, second and third month as your level one enroller. Um, and then level two enroller, it's 10% in your first, second, and third month. Remember here, there is no maximums. Um, compression is applied. So I'm sure a lot of you have questions with regards to what compression is. So here we're gonna actually give a good example of what upward compression is. And looking on screen for some of you that can see this, what happens here with an upward compression payout, okay? So as you can see on screen, I'm hoping that everyone can see my cursor, which is rotating around the person that's been enrolled. Um, so if you enrolled a new brand partner, okay, um, as you can see on your left, they placed the 100 PV order in the first month, okay? Um, your enroller is the level one. It's, okay, so your enroller is actually the level two enroller for your new brand partner, okay? 
So you count as the level one enroller, which means that you earning 25% of that 100 PV, okay? This is paid back to you in a, in a $25 payout, okay? We followed this at the 11.5, uh, which is the pay grade payout, okay? So with this being said, um, you enrolling your new brand partner, you the level one enroller, you earning 25%, your enroller, um, they place the 50 PV order, they're getting 10% of that, which is 115 rand back. And then obviously your enrollers enroller, um, being the third level enroller, even though they placed the 50 PV order, we don't have anything to give to them because there is no um, additions to this for them to earn, okay? So in scenario B, for example, now this is this is a good scenario. So you enrolled a new brand partner, but you placed an order under 50 PV, okay? So that brand partner you enrolled placed the 100 PV order. Now, because you didn't place um, or you didn't meet the requirements in order to earn this, you didn't qualify for the 25% bonus payout. So this is where upward compression applies. So your enroller will then become per se in this moment, they will become the level one, which means that they will earn the 25%. And then your enroller's enroller being the third level enroller, here they will earn 10%, okay? So this is what happens when you do not meet the qualification, I mean, the, the requirements for that bonus payout. So I hope this makes sense. And this will obviously um, rotate according to um, who placed the 50 PV um, minimum order and this applies to the person closest to 50 PV um, that will earn either the 25% or the 10% payout. So this will be ongoing, okay? So I hope this makes sense for our brand partner. So please confirm this in the chat if you are happy with that. Okay, let's just check. Okay, so perfect. Chris is definitely happy with that. Okay, and then we move on to PV reductions. So this is a good one that we've actually brought up with our brand partners. So as you can see on screen, it says that when the fast start bonus is paid at any level, the PV used to calculate all other commissions and bonuses payouts will be reduced by 70%. Okay, so with this being said previously, in the first month, if you had to enroll a brand partner with a 100 PV order, okay, in that first month, you were only earning your 50% fast start bonus, okay? And then with that being said, you weren't earning any commissions in that first month because it was reduced by 100%, which means that that was zero PV and you wouldn't earn anything. However, in the second and third month, you would earn your 25% bonus. And then if you are placing your 100 PV order, which means that you're eligible to earn unilevel commissions, you will then earn 30 of that 30 PV, whether it's your level one according to level one, and this is downward compression, okay? So this will apply to your level one, your level two, and your level three, level four going down. This will definitely apply to how much you're earning as part of your unilevel commission. So for example, if this is your level one, sorry, the slide is just jumping me. So if this is your level one brand partner, you will earn 8% of that 30 PV back in commissions provided you place the 100 PV order. So which means you're earning 25% and you're earning 8% of that 30 PV back in commissions according to the level that you are. Okay, so now, with the new one, with the new part, well, with the new PV reductions that's been put in place for you to earn these commissions, now in your first, second, and third month, you're earning your 25% bonus. But another great thing with what we're doing is that now you are earning that 30, as I can put it, um, because it's reduced by 70%, that 30 PV is now eligible for you to earn in the first month, second and third, according to the PV amount that your brand partner enrolled with and that they are placing consecutively, you are then earning commissions on top of that. But this is a good thing in the first month as well. So Annabelle, I do have you on the call here. Um, I just wanted to find out from you with regards to this because I know that brand partners um, had a bit of an issue, um, especially with, um, as I can put it, your your first month that you're obviously losing out on commissions um, in this regard. So for you as a brand partner, I just wanted to find out, like, 
how does this update better affect you and your business? Hi, Gavin. Um, yeah, I think this is a great update. Um, I know that some brand partners were, might be focused on the fact that we um, used to get 50% when they enrolled someone and now you're just getting the 25%. But this is actually a really great update. And I really think that this is um, not where all the gold lies, but where some of the gold lies in terms of um, how this will impact your, um, your paycheck as well at the end of the month. I think it is really great that the PV is uh, the, the PV is not not reduced to zero, but it's actually um, there's still um, uni level that you will be earning, so you're still getting uni level commissions as well. Um, so yeah, I really I think it is a good a good update to the does that answer your question to the compensation plan. No, that definitely does answer it. Um, and also with you being a business builder, I know this is this is a big change and it's a big update for you. So thank you so much for that. So I just like to give a good clear example of exactly how the fast start bonus is going to actually affect um brand partners now with earning. Okay, so with your level one enroller, if your brand partner enrolled a hundred PV, right, with hundred PV, um, you as the level one enroller, you're going to earn twenty five percent. Your level two enroller is going to earn 10% off of this, okay? But now if they are enrolling with the premium starter bundle, remember that they're also earning the premium starter bundle bonus uh, payout on this, okay? So this is just a good example because the brand partner didn't enroll with the premium starter bundle. They enrolled with a 100 PV order. So this is what they earned. And then in month two, they ordered a 129 PV order, okay? So with this, the level one enroller earned 370 rand, your level two enroller earned 148 rand, which is a 25% payout on level one enroller, and then 10% on your level two enroller. And then in month three, because it's been consecutive being over 100 PV, your level one enroller um, again earning, sorry, that just jumped, um, your level one enroller uh, definitely still earns that 25% payout, which is 298. Your level two enroller is still earning here, which is 119 rand. So this goes to show that you can actually still earn in the process of this, okay? So this is a good example of the fast start. And now the big change, which is the PV requirements for the leg. So Annabelle, for you, I will definitely just make this easy. So you can actually explain um, these parts for our brand partners because with the current PV requirements for a leg, um, I remember it was it was a bit more difficult because looking for somebody with a hundred PV um, in any of your downline legs that would qualify them for actually counting towards your total OGV. Okay, so on this, um, I know with the new update, I know with the new update. Sorry, I do see in the chat you say that you have something to add to the fast start. Yes, Annabelle. Can we maybe go to the previous slide because I feel like we're going too fast. I want to I wanna share something on the previous slide that I know there um, that I think is really helpful. Um, something that is just a great perspective from my side why I feel this is a really great update as well. Um, a lot of people would have heard me saying before, especially people in my team and you guys that we work with closely, I always say I'm not a high enroller, but I'm a high investor in my team. And I think the updates that we've had with the compensation plan is really, um, it really helps you to help your team as well. Um, and I'm going to like give you guys an example. Um, if you, for instance, have a brand new person that just started with you with Young Living um, and they are really keen to do the business. Um, it obviously takes a lot of investment from you as a leader or as a enroller to help that person to also establish their business and to start to grow their business. And I really, um, um, I think it was in 2022, the compensation plan was similar to this, where we also had the 10% on the second level enroller. And it was really beneficial, especially if you, if you want to, um, walk with your new business builder. You want to equip them, you want to help them how to do things. So say for instance, now you have an event and you um, you are saying to that person, listen, you get people together. I'm going to help you 
they they want a house, but they really are very unsure. They're not sure how to do this, how to go about because it's new, it's unfamiliar territory to them. But they're so passionate about these oils, they want to share it with people. You as the enroller, you come in and you support them, you help them, you facilitate with them. Um, and um, sorry, I see that Chris said she can't see my face. <laughs> Got distracted by that. Um, there's still something in it for you as well when you help them. If you help your new business builder, you say to them, bring people, you um, enroll everyone that is at this event, but I will help you to actually host this event. It's not like you're going to this event but you're not getting a single cent out of it either. Obviously, it's growing your team and it's for me, it's hugely, it's a huge satisfaction to just see people grow in this business. And even if I didn't get a cent out of it, I would still do it. It's really, it's a passion of mine. But it is so nice with the way that it is structured now that you, as the person that is investing back into your team, you will also be getting back 10% back. I hope I'm making sense. I think that second level enroller 10% is really valuable, especially when you are investing in your team. And we always say we rise by lifting others, right? That is what we want to do. We want to help our people to help people. Um, and I think that the way that it is structured really equips us to do that really well. Am I making sense, Gavin? No, that definitely does make sense because that shows that you actually are there for your team in order to actually be earning that. So it, it gives more of an engagement, if I can put it that way. And it also simplifies things for brand partners when they can actually see exactly where their the bonus is actually going or who's it going towards. So that does actually make sense as well. So it is also a crystal clear picture for brand partners here. Um, when you are doing this and when you are hosting events um, and you are enrolling people, you can definitely see that you are getting back in this process. Okay, So it's not like we are undervaluing anyone in this because we're all about definitely just empowering our brand partners to ensure that they are also meeting their goals financially um, and also just putting themselves out there with the product. So it's lovely to know that our brand partners actually uh, push forward the product, but they're also getting something back in return. Okay, so yeah, that definitely does make sense. Thank you for that, Annabelle. And then I remember with regards to this, this, this was the biggest change that we had with our brand partners. Um, but with this, um, Annabelle, you definitely know um, how this has impacted you as a brand partner because I mean, for you, um, you are a current silver leader, which means that you are much more in the loop when it comes to your growth and your rank and where you want to be in the next stage. So previously, as you can see on screen, um, you needed 100 PB, which was any anyone in your downward legs to qualify to rank up, okay? So, sorry, it keeps on jumping. I don't know why it's doing that. So as you can see on screen, for example, if you have anyone in your downline and they have um, people in that's below them, it looked for the person closest to 100 PB and it used that as a qualifying leg for you to actually qualify to rank up, okay? So on the left also, it will show you that it will skip people that had orders under 100 PB and it looked for the person closest to 100 PB so that that counted towards your qualifying leg, which added your total OG. So now with the new PB requirements for a leg, it looks at the top of your of any of your legs and it counts that total OGV so that it assists with your rank as well. So Annabelle, um, how do you feel about this change? Um initially when I saw it, <laughs> I thought, ooh. Okay, it's like that fear sets in, you know, what, um, so now this actually qualifies people to not spend uh, any PV, <laughs> just being honest. But actually, the more I sat with this, I realized this is actually amazing because if you, if you have been growing your team, you've been building, um, your legs and, um, you have enough volume in your legs, but you, for instance, don't have, um, you have someone who's at the top of that leg, but they're not ordering consistently. Um, that can 
cause you to actually miss out on a rank. Um, and what I love about this is that if that person at the top of your qualifying leg that has got enough volume, so say for instance, um, for silver, you need two legs of 4,000 OGV, right? Or for executive, you need two legs of 1,000 OGV. Um, if your let's let's use executive as an example. If you need one leg to be a thousand OGV, but that that previously you needed someone to spend a hundred PV. Now, whether the leg head spent a hundred PV or not, but the volume of that leg is still a thousand, you will not lose out on your rank. So all the hard work that you have put in to have your legs in place, um, you will not be. I almost want to say disqualified. Um, and lose out on your rank because the person at the top of that leg is not placing an order. And I think there's actually a lot of freedom in that. Um, for the simple reason, um, it is, it is, um, it's a tough conversation to have with someone. Um, if usually when you have level one business builders, you also have a trust relationship with them, right? You, you usually know who's the people who, who's your front line, like we, like we say, and you kind of depend on them, um, that they will be placing a hundred PV because that is what qualifies you, um, to have your legs in place. Where now, um, the conversation will be different. Firstly, I always say to people, you cannot really have any expectation of anyone of what they're going to spend or not. It's not. You know, people, you can't say what people will spend. So it, 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 it used to put you in a difficult position if someone didn't spend a hundred PV and you missed out on a rank. Because it's, with certain, like the higher the ranks, the more it is that you actually lose out on, especially from silver and up, where you start getting generational shares. Um, and it starts making a real difference. We now, and that's where I say the freedom comes in. If you still go to that person, they am not spending a hundred PV. You are reaching out to them just to remind them that they are losing out on a paycheck. You are not losing out on anything. You are, you are still qualifying for your rank. Your legs are in place. The volume is there. Um, it is literally just. The, the only person that is losing out by not placing a 100 PV qualifying purchase is the brand partner themselves. Only them, that person self will miss out on commissions. And I think that is quite amazing. Um, that, that if you've been building consistently, if you've been growing your business, you have your legs in place, um, this is not going to disqualify you from actually achieving your rank if someone at the top of the level is not placing their order. Hope that helps. So that is also a great update. I was actually typing in the chat that can young living employees place 100 PV order asking for a friend? <laughs> I'm kidding because I mean, that's that's one of the best things about it. So it's also just engaging with the people in your team again, because at the end of the day, um, you don't want anybody to miss out on the opportunity of earning something. So that does make total sense as well. And I thank you so much for explaining that because it's so much more easier for everybody to, to interpret that um, from your understanding, being a brand partner who's engaged with the field, who treats this like a business that you actually have started from the beginning. So you understand exactly what happens on the back end with regards to your team and how this affects you and I just also want to find out from your side, Annabelle, um, how easy is this for you to basically absorb um, and interpret and then to teach other people in this aspect now that you understand what you know? Um, interesting question. Um, I think, I, well, I've been doing the business for almost five years. So for me to understand, is the feedback by me or is there someone that's not muted? Sorry. Oh no, I just muted them. I just muted them. Oh, um, thanks. Um, I think for me to understand the compensation plan at this point in my journey is um 
a little bit easier than for a new person. Um, just because uh, this is going to be a funny example, but um, I always say understanding the compensation plan and also um, how it works when it comes to building your organization is pretty much for me like playing a board game. Um, I don't need to have all the details from the beginning. Um, my husband is the type of person he will literally read every rule on the board game slip before we start playing and I'm like okay can we just start playing <laughs> because I'll ca I'll cotton on as we go I'll catch on and I learn as I go and I, f I kind of feel the same way about the compensation plan because let's just be honest the compensation plan can be complicated and I and, and it, I think it just comes across as complicated for new people because it is overwhelming for a new person to to feel like you need to understand all of this. It is actually quite simple, um, but it can come across as complicated. So it is a difficult question for me to answer, Gavin, because it's not e it's it's easy for me to 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 teach it to people. Um, but I think the the magic happens. When you, when you take the time to invest in someone and explain it to them, even if they ask you the same question 10 times, explain it to them until it clicks. Because sometimes it's not going to click until you have like real time experience with it. And your new brand partners are also not going to understand the compensation plan if you're just going to send them the PDF and a leaflet and you say to them here's how the compensation plan works work through it and let me know if you have questions it's not they're not going to understand it if you do that and i think if you are willing to walk with them through this then i think um yeah i hope i'm making sense but i think it can yeah. be very overwhelming for a new person but you as the leader or as the enroller if you have the understanding you can lessen that overwhelm and complication okay so that definitely does make sense as well because um a lot of them because they still need to understand the terminology with regards to pv ogv and all of those type of things it is going to be a bit complicated for them but also being a brand partner that's been exposed to young living for such a long time i mean with updates that that follow through like how it has I'm pretty sure now it is a bit more easier for you to interpret in that aspect. But I also get it from your standpoint as well, because it also needs to be from somebody's perspective who understands it. It's it's the same like high school. If you didn't understand something in class from the teacher, you could literally listen to somebody else saying the same thing, being your friend or something, and you would understand it so much better from their perspective. So definitely, I do get you in that aspect. And thank you so much for that. So with tonight's call, I just want to confirm that everybody is happy with what they've learned. Um, I hope that you've got a brief understanding, especially with walking through with myself and Annabelle and definitely getting that hands-on approach um, with regards to the new updates on the fast start bonus, as well as the new PV leg requirements. That's definitely going to help grow you and your business. So again, Annabelle, thank you so much for joining us on the call tonight. Um, thank you for taking time out and thank you for answering questions that our brand partners had. Um, is there any questions before we leave um, the call tonight um, from anybody in the chat? I will just give you a good 30 seconds just to confirm if there's any questions. Remember, this is there is no stupid question, as Annabelle and I always say, because at the end of the day, <laughs> any question definitely counts towards something that you do want to understand. So is, that, is there anybody in the chat that doesn't have... Um, any questions that we can answer from your perspective? I'll just wait for it. Okay, let's see. Any questions in the video chat? Do we have anyone there? Okay, perfect. So I do see that nobody is actually asking any questions in this regard, which means that we've had a very successful call. Um, thank you again, Annabelle. I do appreciate it. We will upload this call onto YouTube for everybody to watch. Um, and if there's any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me and I will definitely assist you in this regard. 
And again, thank you so much. Um, everybody have a great night and thank you for joining us again. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>